What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to talk about some Summer Game Fest news brought to you by Jeff Keighley. So Jeff Keighley was on a Twitter Spaces uh, yesterday, I believe last night, and he talked about the show and he kind of, he tried to clarify what the show was going to be. A and look, for whatever opinion you're about to have, right, uh, you know, in the fact that he says really most of the show and it's going to be mainly focused on games we already know about, alright? So whether you hate that or whether you love that I will give the man a, a lot of respect for coming out and he, do, he tends to do this I will give him respect for coming out there and getting ahead of it and saying hey you know let's let's kind of break down what you what you'll uh, expect to see let me throw this in really fast before we get too far into what he said well number one I'm going to be co-streaming the show on Thursday. So if you guys want to watch Summer Game Fest with me, make sure you guys come back on Thursday. We'll watch it all together. Number two, what I found very interesting about uh, this show in particular is the trailer, the sizzle reel, the hype trailer. To me, it's a very different kind of trailer than what Jeff normally does for the simple fact that there's very few games in the trailer, incredibly few games in the trailer. And I called this out the, because he kind of had, I don't remember the names of, of the two that I'm talking about, but he's had two hype things, sizzle reels, whatever you want to call them. And he's had two of them. I think one was maybe an announcement one and one was uh, literally the trailer he put on over the weekend. And they're both incredibly similar to each other. And they both feature very few games. Very few. Callisto Protocol, Gotham Knights, and, and these games, Horizon for some reason, which I want to talk about. But these games appear in the trailer multiple times. Now, normally what Jeff does is he'll do a ton of different games in the trailer. And a lot of them will not appear at the show. Okay, he'll do it for the game awards. He'll put a ton of games in there, most of which won't appear. He'll do, you know, stuff for Summer Game Fest. So what I find odd about this one is I almost feel like he was showing his hand before this article, before he went on Twitter Spaces. I almost feel like he was kind of doing subliminal messaging where it's like, hey, see these games? Ironically, these will be the games that are at Summer Game Fest, but not too many others, okay? That's the sense I've gotten for about a week now, and this kind of backs it up. So he talks first about Xbox and Nintendo Switch. He said the show would include exclusive games for both Xbox and the Switch, but said that Microsoft would like to keep its biggest hitters for its own showcase and was unclear if Nintendo itself was involved in Summer Game Fest. Now, that seems like a pretty big contradiction, so I don't know if uh, Video Game Chronicles messed up there the xbox thing is very it, it's understandable but it's also kind of disappointing where it's like now we're going back into e3 time where it's like well these guys can't show up here because they're going to want to keep their biggest stuff for their own show you know granted or ultimately we kind of expected that right we kind of knew and it's almost what i had said too right microsoft maybe they show a small clip of something at summer game fest and they say hey come to the xbox with us to show on sunday for more stuff on it and I, and i think that makes a lot of sense and, and it could still be something relatively big he also urged viewers to rein in their expectations in terms of any megaton shocks that uh, they might be expecting. And he said, uh, this is a really exciting weekend for me because I finally get to see things we've been talking about to people for months. We've obviously announced a bunch of things since I last talked to you guys. We talked about Callisto Protocol. We'll have a gameplay demo. Uh, we'll have the first level uh, playthrough of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We'll have a reveal and some news around Gotham Knights and some new footage of that game as as well cuphead dwayne johnson we'll have a lot more to share this week some other things we're going to tease in the coming days and then there'll be a lot of things we'll save until the show he expected the show to last around an hour and a half to two hours so that's pretty cool what i would say is that a lot of games we're going to show you are going are, are going to be already announced games are going to show new content to you like some of the ones i've mentioned we've got a couple of new game announcements in the show and hopefully some surprises if everything holds but it definitely is a show that's primarily focused on stuff that is already announced so we're doing some good stuff for you but definitely manage your expectations in terms of megaton shocks that you're expecting this is not the game awards we've got a lot uh, of good stuff to show you but buyer beware of some of the crazy rumors i'm seeing out there in terms of things people expect to get announced he talked about elden ring where it's like that was a you know it was a new thing but it really wasn't because elden ring was already announced and then he also talks about how the in the next couple of weeks there's actually going to be stuff uh, as well i think it's going to be a fun month of content of games coming out and there's a lot of games that have been announced that we haven't seen stuff on and that's going to be a big part of it so so look again ultimately i'm 
I, I'm a little disappointed in it, but ultimately, I think it's still kind of going to be the show we all think it is. There's going to, like, nobody is going, or nobody should be, going into the show expecting, like, 10 brand new AAA reveals, right? Jeff Keighley has never done that. Uh, even the Game Awards, he doesn't, he maybe does, like, five to six. Uh, he really, you know, there's never that flirting with that amount. Um, so, like, in terms of overreaching expectations like that, yeah, I, I feel like he kind of just described the shows he normally does. You know, and that's that's not a dig on him, actually. If, if you follow the history of my channel, I love Jeff Keighley. I think, I think he's a great guy, and I love um, kind of what he brings to the gaming industry, something that really very few others do. So I respect the guy a ton. I truly, truly do. But he is just describing his show. We're going to show a lot of what you already know. Don't expect, you know, some massive overhyped thing because it's probably not going to happen. Um, but now that doesn't mean that it, that some of those things won't, right? Like I think the fact that Bloober team is going, I mean, the Silent Hill thing, it, it just, it makes so much sense. It really makes so much sense. So that could be, because he did say, you know, you're going to see stuff that you already have seen or, game, or you know, stuff from games you've already seen. You're going to see some new stuff, and then you're going to see um, some big surprises, or he said some surprises if things hold. So I think a Silent Hill could be something like that. And here's the thing. God of War Ragnarok release date. That's gigantic, and that's something that's a game we already know, right? Even like a Callisto Protocol. Like, I, I want to see gameplay from that. I'm, I'm very excited for that. Gotham Knights. So I... I think he can really do some, just like he said, actually he made a really good point with Elden Ring. Elden Ring ending off last year's um, Summer Game Fest was gigantic, but that game was already announced, right? It was something new to the game that was already known to people. So he can still do that. You know what I mean? Giving a Midnight Suns release date, giving a God of War release date. Now, yes, could he announce one or two new games? Maybe more, hopefully more. Um, that, yeah, that'd be and that'd be awesome. But I think even just playing around in what he has working with uh, with him or for him, I think it can still be a really okay show. So here's hoping, here's hoping, uh, and, and again, I'll be live streaming it or co-streaming it so you guys can watch it with me, but let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on so you know when these videos go up. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.